does bark in a good mood, which he very often is. And don't think he was some distant academic. He got into a sword fight with a bassoonist because he, he told the bassoonist he sounded like a nanny goat. <laughs> and um, he got put in prison for other things. He was, a, and he also got into trouble for um, making music with a young lady in the organ loft. Um, he was he was a lad, Bach. He was full of fire and temperament. And apparently, when he conducted, they said it was like he had rhythm in every part of his body. Um, but of course, there was another side besides the joy, besides the fire and the excitement. There's also this incredible profundity, and I thought I would play you without repeats, um, probably. No, I think, if we, I think I might have time for the repeats. The Saraban from the fifth suite. Now this is, for me, the, the whole suite is, is the passion story for cello, and for me this is the moment of the crucifixion where Christ is abandoned on the cross. But it doesn't matter whether you think that or not, it's such a portrait of loneliness. I mean, it's like, it's not really like, but maybe one of the high, high points of music for me is, is Ebama Dick and the St. Matthew Passion, where Simon Peter realizes that the cock has crowed three times and he has denied Christ. And the aria that follows just sums up everything that we feel in moments you know, where we feel remorse, when we feel grief, um, it's everything. And this too, this saraband for me sums up loneliness and anguish, but it's not depressing. It's never depressing because there's a, again, a radiance to it that it's, it sublimates suffering through beauty.